Hello everyone, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm currently on a project where I'm doing some, I'm soldering some uh, some surface mount devices onto one of my uh, PCs, PCB boards I've got. Uh, I got them from uh, PCBWare by the way and now I wish I had got a stencil with them. Uh, but in the past I've managed without a stencil um, but this time I think I uh, really need one because I've got uh, some rare, uh, I've got a microcontroller on this board which has really small pins you can see it there I don't know if you can get in focus my Q1 there, or U1 shall I say um, this is the microcontroller if I can get this into focus uh, let's see, ah, oh, there we go, just get the pins, there you can see how big the pins are. Uh, well, the way I've normally done it is with uh, the syringe kit, I've got a, a syringe kit, let's just put those down before I lose it. I've got my oh, syringe kit, uh, which is of, of the uh, solder paste, I've got some in a tub and I've got some in a syringe um, so what I normally do let's, I'll just set this up oh, and I, I recommend another one tip is always keep uh, it, the, the syringe comes with a cap for this end as well as a cap for this end uh, I recommend you keep both caps on while you're not using it because uh, it does dry up um, so uh, let's just put that together and what I have, I have a where's the nozzle right so I have uh, where are we, yeah get in. Well, well if I use this as my focus point I've got a, a, a spring I, I use and what I normally do is I just push through from one end and clean the old stuff out. Uh, don't waste it either. I put it in me me tub of uh, tub of paste. So basically, when I come to use it again, and I don't waste it, I put all my previous stuff in there. Clean it out with a pin. I suggest as uh, this is a tip, I suggest you clean that off straight away because it's harder to wipe off if you let it dry. So that can go back in this box. That can go back on there for now. And we've got our syringe. So we can put our cap back on there. Oh, actually, I should have not closed this yet because what I usually do is before I start, just just turn that off and out. I just make sure that I've got a nice good fluid coming out at the end there so it's all ready for use so uh, just put that back now normally what I would do is I'd just use my syringe and I would just put some little dabs on uh, just so there's a little dab if I do that there we go and a little dab there it's just a bit like doing an icing or an icing cake actually keep that open for now wipe off the excess because you don't want too much on I mean these are <laughs> especially with this one I tell you I wish I had got a stencil and if this is an advert for stencils I don't know what is so yeah so normally I would just do that so can we get that into focus so we've got some nice little blobs on the corner there and on there I would just 
let's just uh, play some parts I've got a couple here there's my tweezers so I've got this little one I'll just pop that on there just try to drop it and then just make sure it's sat in there and I've done a resistor as well just to show what happens right so that's what I'd normally just do uh, can we get that into focus again They don't have to be too accurate in where you place them, they just need to be in there. And basically what happens is when the uh, the flux warms up and all molds together, you've got uh, you've got the surface friction of the, the the solder all pulling itself together and it'll actually float on top and it'll all just come to together and come in into its place. But as you can imagine, I've got a bit on that uh, board. Let's clean that off. As you can imagine, those, these ones, uh, there's no way in hell I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be able to put. I don't know how many legs it's got. Is it about 20, 20 little dobs on there? No way. You can see it's just going to cover them all, basically. So what I do, to start with, is I just put what I think is enough across them all, like so. Just enough to uh, cut all the tabs. There, so that with cheese ready. So, um, yeah, so I just put enough that will actually be enough for the uh, for the tabs of the of the microcontroller. I don't put the microcontroller on it at this point. What we'll do is we'll just heat it up. So what I'll set, do is I'll just set it to 100 to start, or thereabouts, let it start to warm up. Now, many people <laughs> go to the effort of putting a, what is it, uh, uh, like a, the, pro the, the program they've controlled to, to do what's called a a profile, a heat, a, a, a temperature profile. So it warms up to a certain thing, holds, and then comes back down again and holds. And they do this in an oven and what have you, but with, with a hot plate, you can't do that. I just, uh, I don't understand why people do. Because it takes so long for the hot plate to cool down. You've got no control over it, so. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll brief that on another subject. But anyways, so I've got it up to 100, and you can see it's just drying off a bit. So what I'll do is I'll just keep going up. I mean, this is for uh, 183, so I reckon about 200. So I'll just keep bringing it up slowly. Let's go 190, because my target's about 110, I reckon. No, oh, sorry, 210. Uh, there we go, 191. Let that creep up a bit. It'll overshoot a bit because, like I say, you heat something metal this size and you overshoot, it's not going to cool down faster than you warm it up because you're putting energy into it. To get rid of that energy, you need a fan. You need a fan to cool it down. So in actual fact when manufacturers heat these up they're actually heating them up in a hot air oven not uh, an oven with an element in it, they, they, they blow hot air in at a temperature and then if they want it to cool down they will blow 
air in at the lower temperature which will actually cool it down so they have actually got control you can't control it with an element on its own anyway that's enough of that so you can see what's happening here we've got uh, can I bring that up to the uh, to the uh, camera so we can see oh can I bring the no I'm not going to try and bring the camera down or can I let's see if I can uh, zoom in on that the phone's just locked up right yeah so what I'm going to try and do is to zoom in excuse me for my wobbling around there we go we're getting there because I need it on the the, the bed Can I turn that round yeah there we go let's do a bit more adjustment that way Uh, was that looking yeah so uh, hopefully you can see from that that I've put too much on it's, it's bubbled over onto the edges but what I can do oh and, and these two and these you see they're, they're perfect to those I think actually I'll just bring it a bit closer there we go it's a bit hot right as that brought it in there yeah, you can see that them two are perfect there because uh, the the action of the the um, solder and everything it, it'll all pull together and it'll all pull itself apart. So in the past, when I've done circuit boards, I haven't had microcontrollers on with such fine fine uh, um, legs on them, you know, the little tabs. So what I do is I put enough on as what I think I, are, I need. And then what I'll do is I'll just spread that out. So you can see where we've got two points here that are spreading over two two terminals. What I'll do is I'll just, with my knife, I'll just... Oh, I need a bit more temperature. We've dropped back down again. So I reckon about 210. So I'll just bring that up. So um, yeah, so as that heats up, that that uh, the solder will soften, and and when, once it's softened, I can just spread that out, so we get a nice even amount on each leg, and it's all separated. You know, so like I say, this is a good ad <laughs> a good advert for getting a stencil to get the right amount of paste on each terminal but there we go so I'll get rid of that one so you can you can see now that I have got the right amount I've still got a gap there I've got the right amount of um, solder on, on each terminal just make sure that it's all separate. I can't see it, and I've got my glasses. I need to have a good look. Now, let's just see if I can bring it up there. Is that you can see it on my monitor better. If I can get it into focus. But there we go. Yeah, so they've all got the right amount of solder on now. And so that's how much I need. Now the thing is, if we were to put the uh, microcontroller on top of that now, it would not stick because there's there's no flux on the microcontroller. So I'm just going to put that over here. So my tip, I'll get to it eventually. My tip is uh, for the microcontroller which is over here, I'll just move it out of the way and I'll just get that oh, I've got to get this into focus, in, into shot I have a tub of rosin so what I do 
let's just get that in and uh, this is uh, have your mega controller ready that's just my little hot air gun what I do is I I warm up a bit of my rosin so it's liquid and I just dip the legs in hang on let's just get this right angle just dip the legs in there, there we go get rid of the excess and I'll just turn it over and then I'll just dip the other side there we go just get rid of the excess and then I now know that oh I've just dropped the whole thing in there oh. let's just get rid of that out of the way move this back into shot put my board back on there take a look at the processor controller oh, let's get it into focus where are we can't see which is number one hold on Close to look. Oh, where are we? <laughs> really messing this up. Right, focus. Come on, focus. Right. I think that bottom left is one number one. So now that me uh, my Micros controller has got uh, flux on it, I can now just pop it on top and put it into place. Like so. There we go. Done. Job done. There we go. That's better. Am I doing that right? No, it wants to be down a touch. There we go. Obviously I need to have a, get my magnifying glass on that and check it afterwards, but basically that's how I do it. Uh, but, like I say, this is the uh, the best advert for getting a stencil because those things are really really small and uh, I should have got one to be honest but I didn't I thought I was cleverer than that but I'm not so I've had to come up with that little tip and hopefully that has gone into focus and you can now see that oh got out of focus there we go uh, don't look too bad that I don't think uh, have a closer look there anyway that's my tip uh, it's for getting those little tiny tiny I'll just turn that off move it over there put that on me little bits of wood let that cool down um, uh, and that's how I do it so I would normally populate the, the whole board and uh, do it you know, populate all the other components before and my microcontroller will be the last part going on there but I thought I'd just make this video just to uh, show you the way I do it and it's something I can refer to when I'm doing my instructables as well uh, a video uh, shows a lot more than actual text I think and you can actually see it being done uh, rather than me try to explain it anyways. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.